What's up everybody? This is officially the first episode of Life Outside the NBA. As y'all remember, I did the balling in the bubble stuff. Um, I started that back when we were in Orlando. Now, you know, I got a lot of people asking me to keep on vlogging and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it going, man. I'm gonna keep on, you know, trying to put out content and just putting out different episodes and stuff like that. And y'all let me know y'all feedback or how y'all feel about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna get into the first episode. So right now we are on our way to Toyota. Um, that is our first stop to look for this truck for my dad. So it should be interesting. Um, I mean, I don't really know exactly what we're looking for. I know we're looking for a truck, but I don't really know 100% what my dad wants. Uh, so it should be interesting. We're gonna see though, we're gonna see. So we about to pull up right now. Finally found a parking spot. Oh, here goes Janae right here. Hold on real quick. Hello? Hello? It's a parking space right in the front right here. Is it? I literally just drove by and then there was no parking spaces. It's a, yeah, it's one right here. All right, here I come right now. Here I come right now. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? I'm good, how are y'all? Everybody looks hot and irritated. I'm not directly in the Yeah, I hear you. Through the islands, of, not the islands, it's too hot actually. The uh, deserts of the, the, the desert island, yeah. That boy got, he is oh, in the right. deserts of Africa. That boy got on every like, damn yeah. zebra, cheetah. Yeah, I think he got a little jaguar on the front. Yeah, we gonna have to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh huh, yeah, we said it. <laughs> black too hot for Vegas, huh? White. Right. Uh, not no uh, what about black too hot for Vegas? Like we, we, too, we too hot for Vegas? I have the basics, but again, the only difference on the basic with the SR5 is just the suspension. Now what? And what you got Apple CarPlay, what type of suspension? You don't want the suspension. What is the suspension? You don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. iPhone, so it has Apple CarPlay. So you got the V6 engine. It's got great horsepower. Um, the only thing you always have to fill up since it's Vegas is the windshield wiper fluid for the windows. Oh, these are bigger. Yeah, I like yeah, the, I like the Tundra's better. Yeah. So that one's more for going off-roading. With the car he has already, like the fact that it can get up, he's not gonna be doing any off-roading. He doesn't want to be like slow in a, like, you know? Yeah, he wanna be like, yeah. cool thing. This will get up way more than that will. <laughs> so let me show you the I'll sport. That more bed space, yeah, yep. for sure, man, you're tripping. <laughs> you're bugging, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> because I'm not the one filling up his gas. He's Unless Troy buys a himself. gas station, That's man. what I'm saying. So every time he has to fill up his own car, it's $120? Oh. It's going to be $120, nah. $130. Oh. That's dead. Like, mm -mm. You got anything to say? So the comparison is filling up that one, you're doing between 50 to 60 Just because the nice inside look nicer? No. That ain't worth it. But people buy them. I know it's like buying a house, huh? I'm not standing here like that. It ain't worth it. It look nice. You like going off-roading? It's like a girl. Oh. She look nice. <laughs> but is she worth it? Uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna put him in a car that he has to like. Okay, yes, we're giving you a car, but at the end of the day, if you have to put $120 he, in he your car, like, for car. Exactly. You know his attitude. Because uh, it's coming more of a hassle than it is present. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and you're the one that has to make this, and you're the one that sure has to put gas in it every time. Yep. And I'm, like, I'm not trying to do that, but yeah. like, that's why I wanted to get an uh, SUV. Oh, okay. But then when Ma told me he went and got the transmission fish for the Nissan, yeah. and then Goma was still acting, I was like, that's actually perfect. He's gonna need a bit. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, we're not 100% sure what exactly we're looking for, but just more so with that car. Because it's more about like the mileage. Uh, yeah, it's about his mileage. owned so you still get the 100,000 mile powertrain warranty on it. That's a sport, too. We're looking for a car for my dad. Oh, okay. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> so, you know what I'm bringing them? Huh? This is a surprise. Oh. Uh -huh. coming out. Yeah, like it? Like it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no truck. I got my little truck. You know, oh yeah, I like the Ford. Yeah. <laughs> oh dang. Oh yeah. Really nice. Like this is that. it right here. Yeah. Check. 
Oh my god. This is it. I said the F-150 is the one. This I is said, it. I said that from the jump. It gets good gas mileage. Nice car. It's not too bougie for them. Yeah. So F1. you gotta find the right one. This is it. This is the one for me. Yeah. This literally is the one. I'll stop looking. Oh, it matches his Nissan. I think he would be really happy to see this. What you think of it? I like it. How do you like it? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it's very nice. Red's my favorite color. Ooh, it ain't about you though. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Nice. How you like this it? This is nice. I mean like <laughs> Hey we could do the we could do the race. Do the dash. We'll do the race. Let me turn this music down. Hey, if y'all ain't never been to Las Vegas, it is hot boy. We up I'm, I'm sweating. It is hot. We were out here for like 10 minutes. My car says 115 degrees right now. I know it's not that because my car been sitting for a little bit. I know it's not 115 degrees because my car been sitting out here for a little bit, but it's hot. People out here sweating. There's people out here dying. No, I'm just playing. I ain't gonna do all that. But I think we did end up finding the car we wanted. Um, right now, like I just told my family, I was just like, we need to go sit down. We need to talk about it. Just discuss everything. Like, just figure out. Like, we didn't come into this with a plan. Today, we just came out here to look. I was thinking that it was gonna take a little bit longer. So, but we ended up finding a car that we liked. Uh, we found a truck that I think my dad would really enjoy. And so, right now, we're just gonna go sit down, talk about it, just figure everything out, and then from there. Uh, we'll make a decision, but like my mom, my mom said, uh, she gave me some like really good insight. Uh, she was just talking about like, if you wait too long, it's gonna go. And this is something we really want for my dad. So uh, we better go just sit down and talk about it. But I know we're gonna act on it for sure. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> So it is day two of trying to go get my dad a car. Uh, last night we went back, we negotiated the deal. Everything worked out for the most part. Now today we're going out, we're trying to get the car. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully everything goes good. And you know, knowing my luck, probably something gonna happen. But anyways, for the most part, praying for the best. I told y'all I was gonna make it happen. Y'all ain't believe me. I told y'all I was gonna make it happen. It's the sport one too. It's the sport. I know y'all see that back there. The sport. Brand new. No miles on it. You feel me? What did that say? What that say right there? 38, boy. Brand new. Told y'all I was gonna make it happen for that man. Y'all thought I was playing. Brand new. Man, we got the bow with everything, my guy. We got the bow for my guy. For real, we finally did it, bro. We got him a car. I know he's gonna love it. Brand new. He deserves it, man. That dude works so hard. I can't wait to see his reaction. Got him a nice Ford F-150, man. This is gonna be super dope. I can't wait to surprise him with this. This is gonna be great. All right, y'all, so I just got the phone with my sister. We just planned everything out to give my dad this car. I texted everybody yesterday. I asked everybody to come over. I was like, hey, like everybody come over. Like, let's barbecue tomorrow, Sunday. Let's have family day. Everybody was like, okay, cool. But little does my dad know that we're about to surprise him with this car. So we're going to get here. I'm going to have food ready. Everything will be good. Everybody going to act normal. Then me and my sister are going to go around the corner. We're going to pull up in the car. And we're going to put the bow on it. And then I'm going to tell my dad that I need him to come outside and help me with something. And then we're going to surprise him with the car, man. So this is going to be super dope. You bet. Look at your mother. <laughs> I can't stand it. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. Mom, mom goes, yeah, can you guys go get me some chips, please? Right. Whoa, Lynn, come on, what? you're giving them away. Always... So as you can see, we just walked out of the house. Uh, we told we told my dad that we needed to go get some more uh, dip for some chips right now. So he thinks that we're going to the store to grab some stuff. Um, he just ate, everybody's good. So yeah, we about to go over here, man. We about to put this bow in the car and then we're gonna tell him to come outside and and let them see it. So it should be good, man. It should be good. I'm, I'm super excited right now and I'm really anxious just cause I just want him to enjoy it, man. That dude deserves the world and I love him. So so we about to make this happen for him. Great time. Let's do this, Johnny. Okay. What movie is that off of? Shit, don't ask me. Bruh, don't ask me. Bruh, don't ask me. This way. Yep. Okay. Let's get the right there. Yeah. Oh my God. There you go. Yes, 
Yes, sir. What the? There you go. Yeah. Yep. That's brand new. Yep. That's so nice. This is nice to yeah. see you, what you did here. Okay. <laughs> you got the keys? Huh? Yeah. I got the key in my pocket. I had the key in my pocket the whole time. Boy. Hey. We going to put the bow on when we get in front of the house? Yeah. Okay. All right. Get up in here. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Boy, Vegas, I tell y'all, don't come here. It's not good. It's not healthy to be out here. At least during the summer, it's not. All right, put this thing in park, turn this air on for my guy. Gift wrap, gift wrap, gift wrap, 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 Go see it. That thing fully loaded. Go see that thing. Go look at it. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at that. How you feel about the, the new whip? Beautiful. Beautiful? Beautiful. I gotta put the bow back in there. It's how you feel? How you feel, my man? How you feel? Uh unbelievable. You know I'm an old fashioned dude. <laughs> so so I gotta get used to this. I gotta yeah. come out. Of, I gotta come out of the 70s and 80s. Oh yeah, 2020, huh? So, <laughs> that's, that's all right. This was a group effort. Everybody came with me. <laughs> Everybody came with that car. We picked that out together. What's up everybody? I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Life Outside the NBA. I appreciate all the support and all the feedback that everybody's been giving me. I'm here right now to let you guys know that I've officially partnered with basketballnews.com to bring you guys these vlogs right here and also to bring you guys new content and more vlogs. I'm also going to be doing articles with them and I'm going to have my own podcast so make sure you guys go check it out at basketballnews.com. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.